G'day, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you some Tinkercad shortcuts that I wish I learned at the beginning of my design journey. I've got this shortcut list here that I'll provide in the description below. But if you follow along, you'll be able to see how you can use some design shortcuts that will make your design process all that much easier. Let's start at the top. We're gonna to use a simple object to start with, just a uh, cube. And we're gonna move it around with our left, right, up and down. And you can see it moving the X within the X and Y parameters. If I hold down control, I can actually move it up and down as well. Pretty handy to be able to move your piece one little bit at a time. Holding down shift makes that process a little bit faster. It will move by 10 each time you click the button. Same again, control shift makes it go up and down. Moving down to keyboard and mouse shortcuts, we can see that we can actually duplicate an object by holding down alt and then moving it to a new position. Pretty cool if you ask me. Holding down shift and left, left mouse button allows you to select multiple objects. Now you can move them all together, which is pretty handy. And holding down shift while rotating, rotates at 45 degrees. Lots of pretty handy shortcuts there. The next one here, not as handy if you ask me, but it allows you to hold down the alt button. And if you hold from the corner, it will scale in all directions. If you don't hold down the alt button, it will just scale in the direction of the actual piece being pulled. Similarly, if you scale from the left-hand side compared to not holding Alt, just like that. They're all pretty similar. I don't use it too often, but we'll go on to the next one anyway. Viewing designs. So if you hold down the right button, you can actually rotate around. It's good to practice this as well. Holding down Control and left, whichever one you prefer, allows you to rotate and orbit the view as well. Holding down the Shift, and the right mouse button will let you pan left and right and holding down control shift and left button will do the same again scroll wheel zooms in and out plus zooms in negative zooms out clicking f will bring it nice and close and fit your object into the view moving up to the top object settings some pretty handy ones here pressing t makes it transparent and pressing h turns it into a hole and pressing s turns it into a solid some pretty good handy shortcuts if you want to speed up your design process. Control L locks the object in place so it won't move. Unlocking, we can press Control H which will hide the object and Control Shift H will show that object again. Going to tools and command, Control C, Control V, I know every student knows that one already. Control D is one of my favorites. If I press Control D, it creates a copy and then if I move it and press Control D again, it will replicate that movement and the copying of that object. Pretty handy if you want to create some kind of linear uh, replication of something. I think that's one of my favorite tools within this shortcut list. Obviously, if we can press delete, we can delete a lot of these objects. That's always handy as well. Control Z, I won't show you. Is that undoes it? Control Y, redoes. And there's a few others that are very similar as well. Control G, you need two objects for this. So if we're going to duplicate again, and we drag them together, we can control G to group those two objects and control shift G to ungroup. Pretty handy, especially when you wanna cut holes as well. Control L can align. Well, actually I found control L doesn't work. Instead, the shortcut is actually just L. So if you look up here, pressing L allows you to align objects as well. Pretty handy if you wanna make sure everything's nice and well lined up. Uh, next one here, we have a mirror. So I'm going to show you an object that can be mirrored, not like our rectangles here. But if I click on this button, if I click M, click on the mirror button, oh, make sure you don't miss it. You can do it vertically, and it's going to mirror in that plane. Next, we have a ruler. If you want to add the ruler in, there's also the work plane. You can add a work plane. I don't normally use that, so I'm going to skip that one. But my favorite out of all of these is the last shortcut, and that is the D button. If you ever found your objects are just floating in mid space, if you want to bring it down to the surface, press D and it will do exactly that. Hopefully these shortcuts have helped you. If you've watched this video, give it a go yourself. Download the link from the description below and hopefully your design process gets a little bit easier with these shortcuts. Good luck and happy tinkering.